Hey guys, Chris Ironhead Garage. Well, got the motor covered up. We got the old Harley covered up pretty good, and uh, I got my Marine son over helping me out wire wheel the bottom of this 55 up. Yeah, he's a good kid. Come over to help his dad. A lot better than in the trenches in Jordan or something over there overseas. He's doing a pretty good job. Oh, it's nice to have some help doing this. So, we'll get him on film, see if he'll get on film, and uh, we'll see how he does. All right, guys. Yeah, there he goes. He's ripping it up now. Getting her all cleaned up. How's it going under there, boy? It's going. It's going. It's dirty. It's dirty. Nah, you're doing a fine job. Appreciate it. Yep, done many hours of this. Yeah, we got some rust converter gonna put on it after we get this all wire wheel down. She's looking better. A couple more hours of work, we'll get her. Yeah, it's gonna look much better all uh, painted black under there. Much more to do, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> On the other side still. Yeah, you got it. It's easy. Easy stuff. Alright guys. Just ripping it up. Getting a little dirty? A little bit. Not bad. Not too bad. A little dusty in here. Lucky we got that big fan sucking that stuff right on out. Looks like a big burnout. Still at it. Made it to the other side now. How's it going? Dirty. Dirty? Closer. Having fun? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we will one day in it. Man, guys, you got a lot of a boy who's a hard worker. Look at that. There's a hard worker right there. Yeah, man, look at this way better. Oh, she's ready for some rest converter almost, huh? Almost. Getting close. You guys can see right up there, that's where that truck, where it's separated. Right there. That's where those shocks break that pan up there, crack it. So I'll get some uh, self-tapping screws and suck that thing tight bang on it, flatten it out, and weld that, weld those spot welds back up. Got one spot where the tank strap goes, that one right there. It's got one little crack. Pretty much, pretty good. 
All the inner fender wells are all wire wheeled up. Man, you're doing a great job, son. Hard worker. You sure didn't make my garage a mess. Woo! You gotta get somebody over here to clean it up. Hey, maybe your mom's not busy. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, I don't think that'll happen. All right. Well, she looks a lot better. What do you think? A lot better. Yeah, you had enough, huh? Six yeah. and a half hours. Six and a half hours to wire wheel it. Yeah, he's a good kid. I thank you very much. And I'm still clean. <laughs> he's still clean. All, all except your coveralls. Yeah. Should have washed out. <laughs> Alright guys. We'll be back. Here's a run for you guys inside view. Shady side. Oh yeah, keep her away from the wall. Well, I got the shop all cleaned up after the boy left. Man, it was dusty in here. It took about an hour to sweep it up and blow it all off. And I've been working on this rear end too. I got this all cleaned up. Got all that uh, dinosaur sludge out of there. So she's nice and clean. Got the gasket surface clean, the washers and nuts. Got the axle ends, uh, or the housing ends all cleaned up and where the bearing goes in so she's nice and clean inside now all the way through so that's nice I took the exhaust off that was easy to get off real quick the wire wheel under there I did get those backing plates for the brakes all painted up and clean I got all the parts for the rear end and the other brake pieces the e-brake pieces all the bolts U-bolts, shock mounts all painted. So those are nice to have all done. So I got that third member in that box. I think I'm going to, I'll probably assemble it in that rear end housing and then uh, wire wheel it up because I don't want all that dust going inside those gears of that posi. But I'll show you guys under here real quick. I got a bunch of non-toxic rust converter. I'm going to put on this after I do a little bit of welding. But man, look at it. He got it really nice. And you don't want to get all that rust off, but I mean, it's totally smooth. There's nothing else falling down anymore. It was real flaky under here, but the, that rust converter works the best if you got a little bit of rust. And that's mostly all just stained. If you wire wheeled it or ground it to bare metal, you could get it all to bare metal, but nah. That rust converter make it work good, make it good again. All up in the fender wells he got. Man, he worked hard. All up in this side. You can see up in there. All down in those braces along the frame rail he got. There's a few little spots I got to get, like up in the here with my Scotch Bright pad. But yeah, we'll put that rust converter on here. Get it all looking good. All the way down there. Look at that view. Straight axle. Got it like that. So that's where that trunk pan right there is. Spot welds are busted apart. So I'm going to go up inside of the back seat and put some uh, self tapping screws and suck this back together. And then I can uh, spot weld it. I'm not sure if I'll spot weld it here or up, or up inside. Probably down here. Not much room and it's cracked right there a little bit. But it won't be structural no more. It won't be relying on uh, being strong to hold those shocks. Release the bolt right there. Man, that was a bad design. So that shock bar will go almost a little bit before that hole there. Somewhere right here. I want to get my rear end in. And uh, get those shocks bolted up to it and get that bar bolted up into it and then set it up in there and get the right ankle angle and make sure it's equal so I was always planning on taking out this tire spare tire uh, holder but I got it banged out pretty good it was all smashed in and I was thinking man I need to have a spare tire in this thing and they stand right up in there so I think I'm going to keep it it's not rotten out it's nice and sound so we'll keep that and then I got a I got a little crack here 
where the tank mounted. I'll show you guys on the inside of the trunk. But the inside of the trunk's pretty nice. It's just got a little bit of rust. Go around this way. We even got all these braces under here. All cleaned up. Ready for some rust converter. There's that new brace. Might take me a while. You just put that rust converter on with a an all, a little cheap paintbrush. And it turns purple, and then um, it'll turn black, and then it's good for paint, good for priming. Well, there's the trunk. I've been uh, getting the surface rust out of here. There's that wheel well for that spare tire. So that'd be nice to put a tire in there. Then I have the rest of this trunk. Uh, for other stuff, the toolbox, the BW toolbox, and maybe a cooler for the car shows or whatever, some oil. But yeah, it's got the old original paint in here. I've just been hitting it with the, one of these Scotch Bright pads. We'll probably put some rest converter all in here. You can see there's that crack right there. So I want to weld that crack up, and that's where the tank straps go to. I got that one. So I got a little more cleaning in here. I've, uh, Clean this pretty good with the Scotch Bright pad and getting some of the surface rust off. I got there and up to go or clean that area. You can see there's a crack there from them old shocks, so I'm gonna weld that crack up. And it'd be pretty hard to weld in there, so I think I gotta do it from the bottom. But no big deal. She'll be nice and strong. Alright, guys. Well, We'll get back to work on this. Maybe I'm going to uh, get the welder out. See what I can do. Get that welded up. Get that rust converter up underneath there. Then I can get that rear end back in there. And figure out that shock bar. Alright guys. You guys take care out there. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all of you. Be safe out there. Greenhorn Hillbilly. She's squatting and going. Yeah, she's bad. Later, guys.